from the Brampton Center for Sports and Entertainment. It's game three of the OHL playoffs. The Brampton Battalion hosting the Barry Colts. Teams tied at one game apiece. They said it was going to be physical, and it has been a battle game in and game out. Today should be no difference on OHL primetime. I get everybody, Doug Anderson, Sam Cosentino up in the booth. Should be a physical affair. It has been all series long, Sammy. The teams have got to be drained after two big, tough games. And they come right back after playing game two last night in Barrie, right back here in the Brampton Center this afternoon for what should be another physical battle. What kind of a game are you expecting between the pipes? Because both goalies have looked impressive in the first two games. And both goalies will both play their third consecutive games now. As for Brad Topping, it was a little bit shaky last night, but played well here. Thursday night, Paulo Koliakovo, kind of role reversal. He didn't play so well here Thursday night, but rebounded with a good game last night. There are tonight's starting goaltenders, as in game one and game two, Brad Topping and Paulo Koliakovo. Well, if you look at their stats throughout the season, Topping with 23 wins, a 299 goals against, and a 912 save percentage for Koliakovo, 26 wins, a 913 save percentage, and a 288 goals against. It doesn't get any evenly more matched than that. Tons of, uh, of scouts on here, on hand here for this afternoon's game, and why not? The series has been great so far. McMillan's line up front to kick things off for the Colts. Shannon on the left side, Hamilton on the right side. Battalion counter with Camille Krebs at center. Wojka Volsky on the left side, and Scott Rosendale on the right side. Jets at the Battalion blue line. Weak wrist shot right on. Loose puck, not cleared. Crombeen gets the shot. He hit the post. Wow, Stuart Simmons is swinging a miss right in front of his own net. Crom Plays it behind the net. Takes the play into the board. McClement still on his feet. Feeds it out for Luby. Wrist shot. And that goes in the corner. Brent Burns is there to play it around the boards. Mike Luby on the far side. Luby at the blue line for Burns. Turnaround shot. Koliakovo with the save. Rebound comes to Rowan. He gets it back. Burns wrist shot. A big rebound. They score. Brent Burns makes it. One oh, man. Just the pressure. Too much for the Barry Colts to handle. And you see Brent Burns hovering all around the high slot. Finally gets a chance on the backhand. Makes that a second chance. Beating Cole Iacobo. He now has four goals in this series. Brent Burns has emerged to be one of the top players here for the Brampton Battalion. Another look at it. Burns with the second chance opportunity. Follows his own shot, backhands the rebound past Koliakovo, his fourth goal of the series, and boy, what an emergence, and a coming out party for Brent Burns. And what a stop. Cuts in front of the net, McClement right on him, Spear looking for Nick Lees at center, that pass a little bit behind him, and Eric Schwantz loses control, Lees jumps in, has Chase on the front, tries to wrap around and scores! Nick Lees ties the game at one. Well, Nicky Lees put all sorts of pressure on Eric Schwantz, and for whatever reason, we've seen it here a couple of times, guys simply missing the puck, and Eric Schwantz backing up into his own end in the corner when what looked like to be a harmless play, coughs up the puck to Nicky Lees, so Lees takes it out in front of the net, no one there to block him, kind of like a wraparound attempt, and he beats Brad Topping. Nick Lees, who picked up a point last night in the game for the Barry Colts, gets right back at it here this afternoon, right in front of the crease on the forehand, Beats Topping cleanly, and that ties this game at one. Had that hit the net, that might have caused some trouble for uh, Brad Topping. Kevin Young's clearing attempt, knocked down, Himmelfarb on the break. Poke check from Topping. Looks like we're gonna get a penalty going against the battalion. Taking the stop on Himmelfarb, here's the look. You see Langdon just push it ahead. Himmelfarb with the step on Kreps, and it looks as if Camille Kreps, for whatever reason, will go off now, having very slightly impeded the progress of Himmelfarb to Chase on to Crombeen. Crombeen flattened by Young just inside the battalion blue line. Chase on steps out of the corner, rifles one right on. Topping makes the save. And that fired up both teams here after the whistle. You see Crombeen coming down the ice. Young has him lined up and does the old Earl Thompson. Throws the hip out at him. And what a job for checking by Eric Himmelfarb. Rowan picks up the loose puck, gets the wrist shot away. Rebound, Koliakovo, two big saves. 
Simmons clearing attempt, block. Here's a two-on-one break. Young, the lone man back. Clotilde steps right in, feeds it to the top of the slot. Open net, they score! Langdon makes it 2-1, Barry. Well, at the end of the power play, all of Frampton's men got caught in the offensive zone. Kevin Young, who would play more than two minutes consecutively, and his partner Simmons gets caught pinching. Patil, great play, hangs onto the puck, sends it back down, it's almost like a triangle drill as the puck goes to Langdon, who's wide open at the side of the net. He's got about six weeks to take the shot. He does so and picks up the goal. That gives the Barry Colts a two to one lead. Wants a cross center, clears it in the corner. Harrison gets the shot, puts it off the side of the net. Harrison looking for Fraser in front, goes through the crease area. Luby will keep it in at the blue line. Luby stepping through traffic. Tuomi tries to tackle him. Luby still has the puck. Clears it in the boards. And a huge hit from David Brown as he put Riley Moore into the boards. Brown will be going to the box for his efforts. Went up in front of the Colts net. Coming back the other way is Langdon. And he gets hammered by Stuart Simmons just inside the blue line. Looked like he wanted to switch sides and just even, even it up a little bit. Chason tries to stick it in the corner. Chase on, bounces it off the boards. Kenny Young with the puck. Young, lots of time. Shot right on. Save coming for Topping. They put it home. Nick Lees makes it 3-1. And they will be up in arms here at the Brampton Center after this goal, Dougie, because Nicky Lees really takes the puck out of the glove of Brad Topping, who is extended to his fullest reach. You'll see the shot from Young at the point. There's a pad save by Topping. Now he reaches out to cover it up. Nicky Lees pokes it from out of the glove and in the net. So Lees picks up his second of the game, second of the series, fourth point of the series. And just like that here, Barry Colts have taken a three to one lead. Nick Lees continues the strong play and gives the Colts a two goal lead. Young for Clayton at center ice. Chris Clayton leads the attack. Clayton. Stops just inside the blue line, lets it go. Poliakimo on the rebound, the Italian score. Well, they're gonna have to uh, check this one out. Adam Henrik following the play, if the goal counts, will get credit, his second of the playoff. And the big shot from the point by Young. And you see Henrik follow it up. I think, Dougie, that this one's going to count. It's a, it will be a power play goal if indeed it does. And I know the referees and the linesmen are talking it over right now. We'll get another look at the play on our replay. But you see the shot from the point by Chris Clayton. The rebound comes as Henrik is skating towards the net. It goes off the skater as shin pad. Look at Henrik go towards the net. And right away, all the Brampton defenders went over there Question referee Matt Parlett on whether or not it should be called a goal or not. It has counted, and Adam Henrik brings the battalion to within one on a questionable goal, Dougie. Well, Luke Chase on Ulahan and Himmelfarb come together. Henrik, drop a skate, goes right through the blue of the crease. We've got Henrik now and Riley Moore dropping gloves, dropping elbow pads, and they will go. Moore looking to throw some big whites. Just a matter of time, and Riley Moore is really getting excited. Throws the elbow pads off, but it's Adam Henrikson comes back with a couple of big rights. And Moore goes to the ice. Henrik throws a left as they hit the ice. The crowd reacts here in the Brampton Center. So big Adam Henrik getting into it with Riley Moore, wow. the veteran defenseman of the Colts. Plotil. Nice pass at his own blue line. Lees feeds it to Chason. Chason's got a man with him. Broken stick, Chason can't get the shot away. Topping on the backhand, they score! Nick Lees with the hat trick, it's 4-2 Colts. Well, Dougie, on that play, Eric Schwanz broke his stick and he continued to play with that broken stick. Had play continued, that surely would have been a penalty, but Nicky Lees gets the puck at the side of the net. Brad topping out of position. Schwanz with the broken stick trying to play goalie. And Nicky Lees will get the rebound as the puck goes free. He goes to the backhand and he beats Eric Schwann. So Topping down and out of the play, dived out to try and cover the puck up. Nick Lees, great patience showing and, and being displayed by Lees as he just goes to the backhand. And Dougie, I gotta say, despite the three goals, he's been the best player on the ice for either team. Tonight. 
likes to take those young players and give them an opportunity to play on a regular basis. And I agree, and I think that was really the key to the deal for Edmonton. McClement in front, scores! 4-3, Jay McClement. What a veteran move, hanging on to the puck as Cole Yakovo is still down on the ice, and I think Paulo Cole Yakovo might have pulled a groin trying to go from one side of the net to the other. He is now limping his way back up. Paulo Cole Yakovo in visible pain. Jay McClement makes it a 4-3 game. And that's a huge goal because Jay McClement had yet to register a point in the series. And he waits and waits and outweights uh, Paulo Cole Yakovo going upstairs. And there's the fist pump. The captain happy to finally get on the scoreboard here in the playoffs. That's his first goal of the postseason. And a huge lift for the battalion still with 14 minutes remaining in this third period. Volsky feeds it through the slot, grabs his shot. Koliakovo gets the pad out again. A left pad save this time. Up by Swanson. Young ties up Henrik. You're not going to get away from Swanson too easily. He's just a veteran defenseman, the captain of this club. Henrik shoots. Big save from Koliakovo. Clayton gets an opportunity before he's tied up. It's when needed, especially when Adam Henrik was allowed to step out from behind the net. Koliakovo stood his ground and made a big, big stop. Brent Burns with the wrist shot, they score! Brent Burns ties the game at four, and the youngster stays on a roll for the battalion. I mean, this is unbelievable. I don't think uh, I've ever seen a run like this by a rookie in the playoffs. This is just his third game in the postseason ever. And Brent Burns comes up with his fifth goal of the campaign, and he just out-muscles everybody here getting enough on the wrist shot to beat Coley Akvo to the top shelf. And that's about the only spot you can beat this guy. It's been fantastic here this afternoon. When you look at the reaction of Coley Akvo after it beats him, I don't think he really even saw the shot come. Through traffic, Brent Burns gets around and beats Coley Akvo, and there you see the reaction. Italian tie the game at four. We've got under five minutes to go. Headman pass up to B.J. Crombie and poked away from him. And here comes Burns with Langdon. Young loses his footing. Rowan with the wrist shot. Cole Iacomo the same. They score! Jay McClement makes it 5-4. Sammy, on that play, Paulo Cole Iacomo showed that his groin is hurting as he made the first stop and couldn't get the mobility to get to the loose puck. And Jay McClement put it in the net. What a solid effort by the Brampton Battalion. Burns gets it in across the line. Now he's got Rowan. Rowan takes the shot, bad angle, but Clement comes in, follows up the rebound, and this play is exactly as the coaches would like to have see it. Coley Akimo did make the initial glove save on the Rowan shot, but he couldn't corral the rebound, and it's all about rebound control when you're between the pipes. Coley Akimo couldn't catch up to it before McClement got there. And the captain picks up his second goal of the game. The battalion leader 5-4. Going to get it to the point. Gets it to Platio with time. McClement goes down, partially blocks it. And Ulahan will feed it down the ice. And that should do it. The battalion will come away with a big 5-4 victory and a 2-1 lead after three games in this best of seven series with the Barry Colts. They head back to Brampton with a one-game lead. What a fantastic game, extremely entertaining. The fans at the bunker on their feet, cheering on the hometown team as the battalion scores three unanswered goals in the third period to take a 2-1 series lead. Boy, what a line Jay McClement, Brent Burns have formed here for the battalion. 5-4 the final score, battalion beat the Barry Colts. Here in a jubilant Brampton Center, we're going to come back with our final wrap-up on OHL Primetime. Stay with us on Roger Sports. There's the three-star selection. Brent Burns picks up third star. What a game he had and continues his role through the playoffs. Nick Lees with the hat trick for the Colts. And a great job from Nick Lees. He even almost got the fourth goal late in the game. Brad Topping with the pad save. Then Jay McClement with the game winner. And he is named our first star. For Steve Rowe, for Sam Cosentino, thanks for joining us on OHL Primetime. A 5-4 victory for the battalion here at home and a 2-1 lead in their best of seven series.